when it comes to another discontinuous theory or theorist, we've got Eric Erickson and his psychosocial stages of development. And throughout these stages, we have um, it, it's it's over the course of the of the lifetime. According to Erickson, he kind of differs Freud in that he thinks that your development is lifelong. And so in each unique discontinuous stage, there's a this versus that scenario. And if we come out on the healthy side of the house, then that's obviously more productive. Otherwise, if we're not successful, this can lead to some difficulties um, down the road. So the first stage is the trust versus mistrust phase where the main tenet is hope. From birth to about 12 months of age, uh, infants must learn that adults can be trusted. So apparently to Erickson, you learn whether or not the world is a trusting place from birth to 12 months. If you cry out and a caretaker comes to console you, then a, a Apparently to Erickson, you will develop a sense of trust within the world. Autonomy versus shame. This is uh, categorized by will. So from toddlers ages 1 to 3, they will explore their world and learn that they can control their actions and act on their environment to get results. Can they be autonomous? Can they be independent? Initiative versus guilt. The main tenet is purpose here. Preschoolers ages 3 to 6 are capable of initiating activities and asserting control over their world through social interactions and play. So can I take initiative in my world and be successful in that? Or will I develop a sense of guilt? Industry versus inferiority. So this happens from ages 7 to 12. They either develop a sense of pride and accomplishment in their schoolwork, sports, social activities, and family life, or they fear in, feel inferior and inadequate because they believe they do not measure up. So competence is the main category here. Am I competent? Next is the identity versus role confusion. Of course, during adolescence, uh, approximately from 12 to 18, the main task is to develop a sense of self. You know, they will explore various roles and ideas, set goals, and attempt to discover their adult selves. Where does their puzzle piece fit into their world? And if you are unsuccessful in this particular stage, you may develop a sense of role confusion in your adult life. You may be confused on what it is, who you actually are. So you may see high schoolers come in, try out different roles or ident identities, even on a weekly basis, to see what really sticks with them. Next is intimacy versus uh, isolation. So the main tenet here is love. So it happens in early adulthood, about your 20s through your early 40s. Uh, and during the stage, individuals are concerned with developing and maintaining su successful relationships with others. So do you uh, decide to settle down with an individual or do you tend to isolate from other people? Generativity versus stagnation. So people in middle adulthood, 40s to the mid-60s, they're more so concerned with finding their life's work and contributing to the development of others. So during these last two stages, intimacy versus isolation and generativity, do you settle down with an individual? Do you create a family? Do you adjust within uh, your workplace? Do you Are you generative? Are you advancing in your career? Or are you more so stagnant? Integrity versus despair. This will happen in late adulthood, about the mid-60s to the end of life. And individuals are concerned with reflecting on their lives and feeling either a sense of pride or integrity and satisfaction or a sense of regret and failure. Do individuals look back on their life with a sense of despair and with significant regret over the decisions that they made? 